Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In today's mini lecture, I will be telling you about what is indirect wax pattern technique and what is direct wax pattern technique. In comparison to what is an indirect restoration and what is a direct restoration. These are four terms which are very really commonly used in uh, the industry in dental materials. Indirect wax pattern, direct wax pattern, indirect restoration, direct restoration. So lots of students who are at uh, the level of first year or second year, they usually confuse these terms. So let me clarify these terms. In front of your screen, on your screens, you can see the highlighted part. This screenshot is from Applied Dental Materials by John McCabe and it's ninth edition. And the chapter is chapter number four, Waxes. Now, this line says, methods which involve the production of a model followed by laying down of a wax pattern are known as indirect techniques. Some dental restorations such as inlays may be produced by a direct wax pattern technique in which the inlay wax is adapted and shaped in the prepared cavity in the mouth. So, what this paragraph means is that there are two types of techniques for formation of wax pattern. Whenever you have to fabricate a restoration or an appliance or a prosthesis, usually you make wax pattern first. Now, wax pattern that is made on a cast in a dental lab is known as an indirect wax pattern, which means the wax pattern is not directly made inside the tooth. Rather, it's made onto a dental cast in a dental lab. So the wax pattern that is made on a dental cast in a dental lab is called indirect wax pattern technique. The other term is direct wax pattern technique. That is a kind of wax pattern which is prepared inside the oral cavity of the patient. So the wax pattern that is created directly inside the oral cavity of the patient is known as direct wax pattern technique. So now these two terms are clear. A wax pattern that is made outside the old cavity on a dental cast in the lab is indirect wax pattern technique and a wax pattern that is fabricated inside the oral cavity of the patient is called direct wax pattern technique. Now moving on to what is a direct restoration. A restoration which is done directly in the mouth of the patient, in the old cavity of the patient, is known as a direct restoration. For example, when you... So now when you directly restore a patient's uh, damaged tooth there and then on the dental chair, this is called direct restoration. What is an indirect restoration? An indirect restoration is a restoration that is fabricated not directly in the oral cavity, but rather it's fabricated, it's made, it's designed on a dental cast in a lab. And once the restoration is designed and is ready, then this restoration is cemented into the patient's tooth structure. Let me now summarize the four terms that I just described to you in the form of this picture. Indirect wax pattern is a wax pattern that is fabricated outside the mouth and a direct wax pattern is a wax pattern that is fabricated inside the old cavity. Example of an indirect wax pattern would be using a modeling wax uh, for making the wax pattern of acrylic dentures, partial denture, complete denture. Now modeling wax is an example of indirect wax that is used to form wax pattern for acrylic dentures and this is definitely done on a dental cast outside the old cavity. The second example would be of inlay wax type 1 which is used for making the wax pattern of inlays and this is also used outside the old cavity on a dental cast. Examples of direct wax pattern would include inlay wax type 2 which is used for making the wax pattern of inlays inside the old cavity. There are two types of inlay waxes, type 1 and type 2, depending upon whether they are used, uh, they are soft or hard, and whether they are used inside the old cavity for direct wax pattern or they are used outside the old cavity for indirect wax pattern technique. 
So these were the examples of indirect wax pattern and direct wax pattern techniques. Moving on to indirect restorations and direct restorations. Indirect restorations are fabricated outside the old cavity and then cemented back on the tooth structure in the old cavity. And examples include inlays and onlays. These are the names of restorations which are created outside the old cavity, which are fabricated outside the old cavity and then cemented back and on the tooth structure. Uh, examples of direct restorations simply include filling materials, the fillings that dentists perform, for example, amalgam filling or composite filling. I hope these four terms are now clear to the students and they will be better able to differentiate between four of them easily, inshallah. Thank you so much.